Read the book. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. The Son can do nothing of himself. But what he seeth the Father do. What he see the Father do. Or what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. They also do the Son likewise. Read. For the Father loveth the Son. Yes. And showeth him all these things that, that himself doeth. Uh huh. And he will show him greater works than these. He'll show greater works than these. That ye may marvel. Right. Go ahead. Well, as the Father raised up the dead, as the Father raised up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. Amen. The Son quickeneth whom he will. The Father judges no man. Listen to this now. The Father judges no man, but what he says. But hath committed all judgment unto the Son. He has committed all judgment. You know who's going to judge? Jesus is the judge. All committed all judgment. Unto the Son. Who did it? Who, who did that? The Father. Committed all judgment to the Son. Some people want to ignore the Son. But one thing, we can't ignore the Son. You just can't ignore him. Because he's our Savior. He's the one that shed his blood. He's the one that died. He's the one that was resurrected. And gone and sit on the right hand of the Father. We will be saved through Jesus Christ. He's our Savior. He's our Lord and He's our King. You can't make it without Jesus. You got to acknowledge and read the book. For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. L listen to what the book says. That all men should honor the Son. Listen to this now. He that gave all judgment to the Son, but that all men should honor who? The Son. How? Even as they honor the Father. All vision. You can't get away from honoring, respecting, and reverencing the Son. Because he has given all judgment unto the Son. Is that all right? Amen. So you got to acknowledge, you got to acknowledge Jesus. You got to acknowledge. You can't get away. So well, I don't think about Jesus. I think about God. You can't get away from Jesus and the things that he has for us. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. He's our King. Can't do it. We got to acknowledge it. He's our great high priest. Is that right? Amen. He's our great high priest. He's the one that is an advocate for us. He's the one that's a mediator. He's the one that's a potentate for the whole world. Is that right? Amen. He's our mediator. He's our potentate. Read the book. And all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Uh -huh. He that honoreth not the Son. Listen to this now. Honoreth not the Father. Read it again. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Yes. He that honoreth not the Son. He that honoreth not the Son. Honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. See? So you say, well, I am ignore Jesus. How do you ignore him? It's like you ignoring the Father. You can't just say, well, I ain't going to. I'm going to honor the Father. You got to honor Jesus because all judgment has been given to Jesus. All men should honor Jesus even as they honor the Father. The same respect you give the Father, you got to give it to Jesus. The same fear you have for God the Father, you have to have that same fear for God. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Read the book. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my words, and believe, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, uh -huh. and shall not come into condemnation. He won't come into condemnation. But is passed from death unto life. Yes. Verily, verily, I, verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is. Listen, the hour is coming. And now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Gonna hear the voice of who? Of the Son of God. They're gonna hear that voice. You know, it's like Lazarus. You know, when he said to Lazarus at the grave, and he told him, Come forth. You know, he, he had to call his name because he was come calling the dead. If he, he had to call Lazarus' name, because we had to say, Come forth, and the purpose that he had in mind. The dead would have came. <laughs> but you know he called his name. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Is that right? 
my Lord. Amen. So he's the one that everybody in the grave will hear his voice one day. How do he, you know, this is how he, he knows everybody's name. All he do is say, come forth. You're going to obey him. What he says again? Verse 25. Really, really, I say unto you, the hour is coming. The hour is coming. And now it is. And now it is. When the dead shall hear the voice. When the dead shall hear the voice. Of the Son of God. Of the Son of God. And they that hear it. And they that hear it. And they that hear shall, shall live. Read the book. For as the Father hath life in himself, yes. so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, mm -hmm. and hath given him authority, authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son He's of the man. Son. He, he understand our, He understands us. He knows your thoughts. He knows what we go through. As people say, they're going through certain things in life. Jesus knows about that. That's why he's our great high priest. Because whatever you're going through, you take it to Jesus. He knows what you're going through. Is that right? He was tempted at all points as we are now being tempted yet without sin. Is that right? He knows what you're going through mentally. He knows what you're going through physically. He knows what you're going through spiritually. He knows what you're going through financially. He knows everything about us. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Why don't you just let us know that he, the Lord, he knows what we have need of before we ask him. That's a wonderful thing, isn't it? But we have a tendency of worrying about things where we don't have to. Just leave it in the hands of the Lord. Yes. All right, go ahead, Rick. Marvel not at this. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming, and, and the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave. Listen, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming. In the which in all, the which all that are in the grave gonna do what? Shall hear His voice. All that's in the grave. Imagine the power He has. He just called everybody up. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you hear things like this. You can't even fathom it in your mind. One voice, Jesus. Because he got all power in heaven and in earth. He going to call everybody back. Everybody. For everything you've done, have done, he going to call you back. See, that's a day that we can't even... We can't even imagine. But wherever dead people are, when he when he call them back, they come. You're gonna have to give an account to God for everything they have done. That's why it's best to do us right. Strive to do us right. Because when we leave and go down, we can come we can come back up right. Is that right? That's why we, we strive to, even when you go to bed at night, go to bed with a good, clear conscience, a mind on Jesus. Don't go mad and fussing and all that. Because you don't know whether or not. You might wake up and it might be judgment. You don't know. But one day when the Lord has a thousand years, you can go to sleep. And no one wake up no more. And then the only way only one can wake you up is Jesus. He can shake you and call you can turn the music up loud as you want to. When, when, when Jesus puts you to sleep or you go out. He's the only one to wake us. That's why we give thanks unto him every day that we have life. For having another chance. Having another chance. And giving praise and honor. And to thank you. Is that right? Jesus. Right, read the book. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. And shall come forth. And shall come forth. They that have done good. Unto they that have done good. Unto the resurrection of life. They that have done good. To the resurrection of life. And what else? They that have done evil. They that have done evil. Unto the resurrection of damnation. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. You have a resurrection of life. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, help me. I want to be in the resurrection of life. Yes. You know, ain't nothing. We don't want nothing to hold us from striving to make that resurrection of life. Yes. You got to give up stuff, man. You just, you know, you know what, what, is it, what is it that we have here that is more precious than eternal life? Yes. You, you can't find nothing. 
you know, we get ourselves caught up in stuff, but there ain't nothing here worth you living eternally with the Lord. And that's why Jesus said, if any man come after me, Jesus. let him deny himself. Jesus. Well, we get caught up in materialistic things. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl, no job, no nothing that's greater than being able to go back with the Lord. Jesus. Yeah. Nothing. Jesus. You know, it's kind of reminding me of the man that he said he had a lot of barns and he was going to build him some had a lot, but he was going to build him some more barns. And he said, he gonna, my soul be at rest, be at ease. I'm going to store all my goods into the barn. And I'm going to just sit back and be at ease. But God said, this night, this night your soul is required. Amen. Is that right? He built barns, but he wasn't going to be able to enjoy them. Because God came and did what? Took him away. So we give honor to pray and praises to God for what he allowed us to do. Is that right? Don't get so caught up in things down here. Vanity of vanity, say the preacher. All is vanity and vexation of spirit. We should be wondering about our soul. Is that right? Amen. That's going to live forever. Is that right? Yeah. All right, what you got? Let's continue. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, uh -huh. they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Yes. I can of my, I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. Yes. And my judgment is just. Yes. Because I seek not my own. I seek not my own. My own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. Lord, help us to seek the will of the one Amen. that we serve. The will of the Father. Is that right? Amen. Read. If I bear witness, my wit if I bear witness of myself, of myself. my witness is not uh -huh. true. There is nothing that beareth witness of me. There is there is another that beareth witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. He said unto John, and he bear witness un unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. I don't receive testimony from man. But these, but these things I say that he might be saved. Read the book. He was a he was a burning and a shining light. He was a burning and a shining light. And you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Continue. But I have. I have greater 36, witness. I have a greater. I have a greater witness than that of John. Uh -huh. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. Yes. And the Father himself hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard my, his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. You never seen him, but he was he was a very express image. He was the representative of the Father, who the Son read. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he hath sent him, ye believe not. You don't believe not. You don't see they didn't believe Jesus. People don't believe. Jesus said, believe on him. How? As the scripture has said. We got to believe Jesus like the scripture says. If the scripture said it, we got to believe and strive to obey. Who? Everybody. It doesn't matter what the scripture says. If the scripture said, we got to obey. Now read this, this last, this verse 39. We're going to close it up. Search the scripture. Search it, y'all. Read your Bible, search the scripture. See what the scripture say about things. The scripture gives you information about whatever you need to know. From A to Z, it tells you how we should be, what we should do, how we should believe. All these things are in the scriptures. Search the scripture. Why? For in them you think you have eternal life. And what else? And they are they which testify of me. Amen. They are they which testify of me. Got to be, they didn't believe Jesus when he was here. And now people still don't believe the scriptures. And the scriptures open plain. 
telling us what we should and shouldn't do. But everybody now want to have their own revelation. That God has inspired them. God is not going to change in his word. The word is the same regardless. You can't come with another thought or an idea. You got to believe him as the scripture has said. If the scripture says you can't do it, you can't do it. If the scripture says you can't do it, you can't do it. If the scripture says let it go, you got to let it go. I don't care how much you want to hold on to it. Is that right? There's a lot of scriptures tell people to repent. You got to repent. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. You got, I don't care who you are. Go to church, do whatever you want. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. You must receive yes. the Holy Ghost. I was listening to somebody testify yes. tonight. They're saying how the kids were going to school and their kid wasn't able to go because they have an immunization shot. Yeah. Is that right? They ain't going to let you in there. You think Jesus is going to let you into the kingdom yeah. and you don't have the Holy Ghost? Yeah. He ain't going to make it. Yeah. And it's not going to be with one kingdom. That's why. You see all this division among church and Jesus. people? It ain't but one kingdom. Jesus. We don't have a kingdom, we have a kingdom there. Mm. One kingdom. Yes, Lord. We say the prayer, what is it? Thy kingdom. Yeah. Not those kingdoms. Yeah. Yeah. Thy kingdom. Yeah. Number one kingdom. Yeah. Number one kingdom. Yeah. Everybody got to come and, and do the same yeah. thing according Jesus. to the scriptures. Is that right? Yes. Amen. We got to get this. this Everybody trying to get into the kingdom. We got the scriptures. Yes. If the scriptures say you got to do a thing, you got to do it. You got to let it go. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Now there, Mr. Corey talking about how people get, got to let things go. And that's the hardest thing to do. Isn't it? Yeah. You know why? Because it's, it's more easier to hold on to the flesh than to walk according to the spirit. Mm. See, it, 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 the scriptures say that the flesh and the spirit are contrary yeah, yeah. one to the other. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Eight chapter one, real brief. Trying to cut out, but we just going to touch it a little bit. Eight chapter one says what? Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do and that it was weak through the flesh God sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit That's why I take the spirit of God in a man, woman, boy, and girl. Sometimes people are trying to do things without the spirit. They just having their own idea and their own thought. But it's not gonna work when it comes to God. Let's hear it, Rick. This I say then. What did he say? Walk in the spirit. Walk how? And what's gonna happen? You shall not feel the lust of the flesh. And you walk in the spirit. You gotta have the spirit in order to walk in the spirit. Yes. Is that right? And you got to obey the Spirit. Yeah. What is Spirit? The words I speak unto you, Amen. they are Spirit. Amen. So the words is Spirit. Yeah. And you got to obey what the words say. Yeah. It brings us, listen to me. Yeah. It brings us all to the subjection, Lord. Yeah. It just brings us to that way. Mm -hmm. But we got to want to do what God said. We got to walk in the Spirit. We got to obey the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Search the Scripture for in them. You think you have eternal life. Amen. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Well, the flesh lusts against the spirit. Flesh lusts against the spirit. The spirit against the flesh. And the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to the other. Uh huh. So that you cannot do those things, you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, if you be led of the spirit, you're not under the law. Amen. You're not under the law. It's the spirit. We want to be led of the spirit. You want to seek God for the spirit. Yes. I know a lot of people. A lot of people don't have the Holy Ghost. A lot of people don't have the Holy Ghost. They just, they feel a certain way. They feel convicted. God knows how to convict your heart. But 
when you really receive the Holy Ghost, yes, yes. I believe it's the 10th chapter of Acts, when you really receive the Holy Ghost, it's going to be a great change yes. in your life. Yes. It's going to be a change. Yes. Young people, old people, you need the Holy Ghost. Yes. You need that because that's power. Yes. Don't feel so comfortable yes. without the Holy Ghost. Yes. You need the Holy Ghost. I don't care who you are, you need all of them. Amen. All right, we have convenience, I think. Let's see what it says. Maybe verse 40, 40, 10, 40, what it says. That quick. 10 and verse 40. What it says? Him God raised up the third day. Now he's not talking about Jesus. Him God raised up the third day. And showed him open. We can verse 35 real quick. 35. Let's move it. But in every nation, but in every nation, he that feareth him, every nation, he that feareth him, and worketh righteousness, and I don't care who you are, and worketh righteousness, is accepted with him. God, he loved him. God sent his son, and his son died for who? The world. Didn't he do so? Amen. But in every nation, black, white, blue, green, yellow, pink, it don't matter, Irish, Indian, African, it don't make no difference. New Zealand, Jesus. Alaskan, Canadian, it don't make no difference. Everybody got to do the same thing. And all these different religions and everything. I listen to Corey, he's talking. You know, we got a lot of people, everybody on there talking about, everybody talking about the Lord. Mm -hmm. I did this, the Lord did this. But have you repented and received? Listen to how many people say they receive the Holy Ghost. Well, you can talk about God and talk about all his goodness. And that, no problem. But have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? That's right. Have you received the Holy Ghost? They say, I believe we need to go over there. We have we ain't so much as heard. Come on. We have to be the Holy Ghost. But it, what it says. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. While Apollos was at Corinth. While Apollos was at Corinth. Paul had been passed through the upper coast. Yes. He came to Ephesus. Came to Ephesus. And found a certain disciple. Came to Ephesus and found a certain disciple. He said unto them. What he said? Have you received the Holy Ghost? That's the question I ask. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Jesus. Since you believe. Jesus. You say you believe, don't mean them. I believe the Lord. Okay, no problem. But I'm asking, have you received the Holy Ghost? Jesus. Is that right? Yes. Have you received the Holy Ghost? You can feel sorry about yourself and cry and you can feel a certain way. But have you received the Holy Ghost according to the scripture? It ain't no one time ordeal neither. God will come and visit you. But you got to have it. You got to seek up for it like Cora was saying. I know in today's society it's so much to come to your mind. I heard John testify. You know you get ready to pray. And you, and, you, and you scroll through, and you, and you see all them scrolls you don't went through on TikTok. Right, right, right. All this stuff. When you get ready to pray, yes. stuff comes to your mind. Mm -hmm. Don't. Yes. That's, that's the enemy trying to block you from yes. getting in touch yes. with our Heavenly Father. Yes. Yes. Mm. Jesus. He'll do anything he can. Yes. That's why people a long time ago talk about people, they call it the television, the television. Because it's certain things, and we're living in a society today where everything deals with the mind. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff deal with our mind. Mm -hmm. We look at stuff, we hear stuff, and we, we just soak in so much stuff in our mind until you get ready to pray, you can't pray. Mm -hmm. Oh, it happens. People don't want to admit it, but it happens. Mm -hmm. What he says? Amen. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe. What he said? And they said unto him, They said to him, We have not so much as heard whether there be. We ain't heard about the Holy Ghost. People talking about now, you don't need the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You go in the church, they got a big old church. You don't never hear anybody talking about you receive the Holy Ghost. Jesus. You need the Holy Ghost, people. Amen. Amen. That's just like when I got ready to go to God, I had to get my passport. I had to get a certain shot. Yes. If I hadn't got all that, I couldn't go. That's right. Yes. So you mean to tell me Jesus is telling everybody got to receive the Holy Ghost, yes. and people thinking they're going to make it in anyhow. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do it. Amen. But ask God, Lord, bless me with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. I need it. I need yes. it. Yes. 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 
And I record saying it's true. You call them to you. You got to get your mind focused on one thing. Amen. They will have you everywhere. Amen. Amen. You, have, you be calling on Jesus and you'll be at Jacksonville Beach. Amen. That's right. Yes, right. Right. He'll bring a movie to you that you saw 15 years ago. That's right. I'm taking it. See? That's right. That's why I gave you a long time ago. Say, call him fast. That's yes. right. Call him. Call him. Just thank him up with Jesus. It's true. Amen. 
Is that all right? Amen. They heard him speak with tongue. If you receive of God's spirit, you will receive the tongue. Amen. Is that right? Yes. That's according to the scripture. Mm -hmm. I know people might want to fight it, but I'm just saying that's how the scripture says. Amen. Did it? Yes. Amen. So who am I to, to come up against what God said? A lot of people don't think. But see, the scripture says when they receive the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, they receive, let's go over that and just touch that. We got to, we got to touch that too. I'm going to show you something real I'm going to try to cut it out. Lord have mercy. We're going to have to start doing something a little different on Wednesday night. We have to get two songs from somebody and then come into the word. It's like a locomotive. Start throwing that coal and then start. All right, what is that? Read it. What we got? Acts 2, when they received the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 30, 4, 36, somewhere in that area. Oh, let's see what one says. Go ahead. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one they were all with one accord in one place. one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing, as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And it filled sitting. all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. Like as a fire. And like as of fire. As of a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And what happened? And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. As who gave them utterance? As the Spirit gave them utterance. The same thing when, when they was over at Cornelius' house. Yes. They received the Holy Ghost. Jesus. And you say, it, it came on them as it did, like did them at the first. Yes. So, brothers, sisters, friends, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Uh, those of you that got it, you know, you, whether or not you got it, I ain't talking about no feeling. Amen. I ain't talking about no feeling. I'm talking about as the Spirit of God give up. Yes. You need the Holy Ghost. May God bless you and keep you. We're going to stop right there because I, I know, you know, I'll keep going. So, thank God you need the Holy Ghost according to the Lord. Of the Lord. Young people that don't have it, old people that don't have it, people that and say you, you have it, make sure. Because if it ain't that you just speak in tongue one time, you can see God and God can bless your soul again. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 So it ain't no, well, I got it one time, 25 years ago, and you ain't, you ain't felt the power of God in 20 years. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But you got, so you got to get your minds to the state and seek the Lord. This is individual. Yes, yes, yes. This individual. You got, you got to be able to go. Jesus said, go in your room and talk. Shut the door. You got to go to him and say, Lord, I want your spirit. And he said, go to the Father. And he was send the, the comforter in his name. Y'all know the comforter name, don't you? All right, brothers. Thank God for y'all. Thank God for everybody. God bless you. Thank God for you. Thank God for prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, brother. We do it. Amen. I think this, this third Sunday, is this clean up Sunday, Saturday? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I said, we're glad everybody's here. Didn't intend to keep you this long, but we thank God for all of you that are here. You know, those that don't have the Holy Ghost, really, honestly, seek God for the Holy Ghost. Seek God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. And if you think you got it, say, Lord, Renew my spirit. Yeah. Renew my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you got to be able to where you want to. The scriptures say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call on him.
kind of like the man that when you glory to God, Jesus, Jesus was passing by. And he said, Jesus, thou son of David. They tried to quiet him up. And then the more they tried to quiet him up, the more he began to call. Jesus, thou son of David. Save me, help me.